What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here in The Sims 4. So today, as you can tell by the title, <coughs> excuse me, just had to cough there. Um, we're building a modern farmhouse. So this is a very popular style that's done um, by sims youtubers but i found this on pinterest and i really wanted to give this build a go so here we are uh there is a ambulance or a fire truck or something passing by currently so sorry if you can hear that it was very loud i could barely hear myself talk <laughs> but um <clears throat> i'm gonna try my best as a matter of fact as i'm sitting here recording this voiceover i'm going to pull up pinterest and download this photo so that I do not forget to put the reference photo in the video. Because if I forget again, I am going to be upset. <laughs> but um, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet or anything like that because I probably have two videos on this channel that's called Modern Farmhouse. I'm pulling up the um, the reference image right now and it says it's a three bedroom ultra modern farmhouse plan with a wide open floor plan <laughs> so I guess I'll call it something along those lines you'll know by the time you're watching this because you're watching this <laughs> but um yeah I, I don't want to call it ultra modern though because maybe the exterior is ultra modern but definitely how I furnish the interior it's not ultra modern at least not at least I don't think so um, on the interior I go for a very crisp white and blue color scheme um, and the blue kind of takes it away from being modern for me uh, maybe not for you I don't know and just like the objects I used weren't the most modern objects in the game so I don't know if I'm gonna call it ultra modern but the I got it from I got the reference image from the architectural designs website that I've mentioned in several uh, voiceovers before and it's basically this website that just shows a whole bunch of different floor plans and um not just floor plans but it shows like renderings of uh houses and i don't know if any of you are in the market to buy a house but you can you can actually go to this website and buy the plan and then it's like it's like the plan for this house is like twelve hundred dollars one thousand two hundred and you could like I mean, you'd have to hire like a contractor or something, but then you could like buy the blueprints and then have someone build it for you. Um, obviously, I'm not in the market for a house right now, but um, this website would be nice to look at if I was. But um, yeah, I only use it for Sims builds. <laughs> I know I said I got it from Pinterest, but that's just because I pinned it to my Pinterest board so that I could go back and find it easily instead of having like a hundred different uh like favorited tabs from the website it's just easier to uh, put it on pinterest um so like usually if you go to like websites like this like architectural websites um you can just like like if they have pictures of what you're looking at you can just hover over that and it'll say like pin it and you can pin it to your Pinterest if you have a Pinterest account. But anyway, the exterior is pretty much done. Um, I never really know what to talk about on the exteriors because it's just like, I don't know, you see me doing it. So there's no point in me saying like, well, now I'm putting down a white wallpaper, but we are on moving on into the interior. We're doing the kitchen first. Um, so the, what is this called? I'm using the, what is this called? I think these are the backyard, no, perfect patio counters. And it kind of sucks that they don't come with, um, cabinets, but I guess it kind of makes sense because they're meant to be outside cabinets or outside counters. 
but at the same time, they're like probably the most modern looking uh, counters we have. I mean, we also have the Cool Kitchen ones, but the Cool Kitchen cabinets don't come in an all white. The white swatch is really gray. <laughs> and then you could say the Island Living ones are modern, but they're made out of wood and I don't really, I don't know. Like when I think of doing a modern build, I don't like putting like wood elements in the build, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense at all. Um, I wanted a round table, but speaking of wood elements, that, that table is made out of wood, but I just used the gray swatch. So that was another color that I was um, making very prominent in this build was gray. So it's, the color scheme ends up being whites, grays, and blues. Um, yeah, we're moving on to the living room. I'm using the eco lifestyle couches, which I really like them because it, it kind of keeps that like farmhouse vibe with this build, but also being modern. And I really like what I did with these um, with these coffee tables. So the coffee tables are also from eco lifestyle. And I just used one that was like the normal size. I sized one down one time and then I sized another one down twice and then I just kind of layered them. Um, I really like how it looks. I didn't think of that myself. I don't know how I haven't thought of that before, but I actually got that from the actual floor plan um, on the website because it kind of, like I said, you on some of the plans, they show like renderings of the house. And for this particular one, they had a rendering of the inside and it had like a three leveled or a three tiered uh, coffee table like that. So I wanted to incorporate it into this build. Uh, I definitely made it too big. <laughs> like the entire build was too big. I don't know if you noticed how much I struggled with the, uh, with the layout of the shell of the house and the floor plan but I don't, usually I don't have problems doing that whenever I'm following a uh, floor plan from a website, but for, for some reason with this build, it was so, I guess it was because it was such an open floor plan that there was really no walls to help me like transfer the dimensions into the Sims. Um, so later on, I do make the entire build, or not the entire build, but this side of the build, the front entrance area and the uh, and the bedroom upstairs i think there's a bedroom upstairs there's two bedrooms upstairs above this area i make this whole area i make um one tile smaller just because the bedrooms because there's three bedrooms in this house there's a master bedroom uh, a teen's room and then a kid's room but there's two kids in that room i imagine they're twin boys or something but uh, the kids' rooms, both the teens and the like actual kids, uh, their rooms were bigger than the parents' master bedroom. So I was like, eh, <laughs> let's make that smaller. And it helped because it made the entranceway smaller. And the entranceway, as you can see, kind of, it's like a lot of just empty space. There's really not anything there. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry, my <laughs> denim just knocked over my what is this called what is this called ring light <laughs> there you go um okay sorry just had to fix it um i was about to say something and then he just came in and ruined everything mm, this is an office <laughs> i didn't really know what to put in here i wanted to put the chairs in the front because just to make it look like, I don't know, you could come and have a meeting with someone in here. But um, looking for stuff to like furnish the office with, I went ahead and put the um, Moschino stuff pack camera like set in here and like the, the wall decoration that's like all the camera equipment and like the ring light and stuff. So I imagine the the mom does photography on the side i imagine she's a stay-at-home mom but that's like photography's like her 
passion but she does like she doesn't have a like she it's not her full-on career like she doesn't have a studio or anything she just kind of does it on the side um and with that being said i have no idea what the dad does uh yeah i don't remember <laughs> i feel like i said he was like as i was building this i felt like i thought of something that he would do but i don't remember maybe it'll come to me as i'm furnishing the rest of the house um sorry it's really jumpy um it's i think this is like a 20 minute video it would have been uh 30 minutes if i had sped it up any slower um if you know anything about speeding up footage i i usually depending on how long it took me to build the actual build i do the exterior i speed up the exteriors so that's me like building the shell or doing the backyard and stuff like that. Anything that's exterior, I usually speed it up anywhere between 700% and eight and 850%, depending on how long it took me. And then the interiors, I do anywhere between 600% and 800%, again, depending on how long it took me to build the actual build. This build mm, uh, i don't know it took two and a half hours maybe when i got to this point i furnished this whole like landing area or it's not really it's a very <laughs> it's not really a landing it's a, pretty much just a big square hallway <clears throat> excuse me i i knew it was coming i was gonna burp at some point but <laughs> um i got to this point and then was just kind of like I don't want to furnish this anymore. I don't know how denim just, <laughs> sorry. Uh, still talking about this dog cause he's ridiculous. But I furnished that hallway and was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and I know that sounds bad, but like I said in one of my past videos that um, I'll always be like honest with you guys and I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, this is the best build ever in, ever in life. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say if like a build kind of like got on my nerves or just like I didn't want to do it anymore. But I tr I did try to make it seem like I didn't get lazy. So I did completely 100% furnish it. And it's not that I didn't like what I was doing. I just got tired of building it and I wanted to move on to something else. Um, but I do like the end, the end uh, result. I think it looks really nice i really actually really really enjoy the both kids rooms so the the twins room and the teens room i like them both a lot actually this is the master bedroom and this is probably my least favorite room of the house i just couldn't really think of anything to go in here um i'm actually repeating a bookshelf that bookshelf is from moschino stuff back and i used it in the office as well but I, I did give them a walk-in closet and an ensuite so this is the closet now um it's i mean it's it's functional as far as like they could come in here and sit on that ottoman or use the dressers but there's also a dresser in their bedroom and <clears throat> it was sorry sorry and just with like sims in general you don't even necessarily have to have a dresser you can just click on them and press um change outfit and then they'll change their outfit <laughs> but this is the twins room so these these beds are from tiny living and i don't think i've ever used this swatch before but i really really enjoy it and for my next couple of builds if i if i have a, a kid boy in them you'll probably see this bed in this swatch um I think like all of us simmers do that. Like if we find a new object or an object that we really enjoy, we'll just like use it to death. <laughs> and for me lately, that's been not necessarily an object, but an idea. And it's just the idea of like having vines going up from like bushes. There's that one vine object from uh, get together with like the, um, with like the wood behind it that the vines are growing through. And I, I, I don't know, I'm just obsessed with doing things with vines now. Uh, this build just didn't really cater itself to doing that. Uh, I could have made it, but I just didn't. <laughs> um, not really much going on in this room. 
I don't really have a storyline or personalities planned out <clears throat> for these twins. But um, yeah, so their bedroom just has this whole blue and uh, kind of like an olive-ish green feel to it. Um, that rug is from toddler stuff, I believe. And I really like using it in kids' rooms. Um, and the colors on that, on the, the swatch that I use, like almost matches those, those tiny living beds perfectly. Like it has the exact same colors, damn near, um, use some clutter. I put it in the, in the middle of the two beds, um, because they, um, they might not be able to get in from that side of the bed, but the other side is clear. So that should be fine. I forgot to stop also using those corner end tables in kids rooms. Cause I feel like every single kids room I do, I use those corner end tables, either in a white or a black, depending on the color scheme of the room. Um, anyway, this is the teens room. She has a really narrow room. I mean, it's a big room, but it's narrow and I probably should have orientated her bed a different way. Like I maybe sh should have put it under the uh, window just to make it seem like this room had more room. <laughs> it seems very cramped, but I, th I felt like it made sense to give the twins the bigger room because they're sharing a room. And as they're, as they grow up, they're going to have to continue to share their room. Uh, because there's only three bedrooms in this house. So, yeah, I mean, you could turn the office into a bedroom, but that'd be kind of weird because then that'd be the only bedroom downstairs and it's like attached to the garage. So I don't know if you'd want <laughs> to have a bedroom down there, but honestly, that garage could be like two or three other bedrooms in itself. So if you download this and you want to make more bedrooms, you have plenty of room to do so. Um, this is, there's one, two, three, there's, f there's three or four bathrooms on this, uh, in this build, but this is the only one you're going to see me furnish. This is the bathroom that's off of the kitchen. You can kind of see the kitchen off to the side there. And the reason why I'm showing this one is because I put laundry in this. So there, uh, I put the laundry in this one. So there is functional laundry on the lot, which I kind of sucks sometimes because you have to like you have to stay on top of the laundry like literally every time every time they change out of uh every time they change out of some clothes like it goes into the laundry basket <laughs> and i think there's two laundry baskets in this build so you'd have to check them both there's one in the parents bathroom and then there's one in the bathroom that's that has the laundry machines in it um so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I was doing a let's play. It's my group home let's play that I have not finished yet. I have one more part to record. I I started that let's play like, I don't know, probably six months ago now. And I never finished it. I literally was going to do one more part and I never finished it. Um, But I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll finish it out. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see um but i was doing that let's play and it, it it was a full eight sim uh a full eight sim family and they had laundry be and i needed it because it was going to be like their chores because they were the the concept behind the let's play where they they were troubled teens living in a group home together trying to get their life back on track and so laundry was going to be like just one of their chores, but it was just too much. <laughs> and then when the laundry baskets get full, clothes are just sitting out everywhere in their rooms and in the living room and the kitchen. And it's like, what is going on? <laughs> you saw me just then for, uh, clutter up those shelves next to the TV. I love the little TV unit I made. Can't I can't steal that idea either. I also got that from the uh, rendering. Um, they had like storage underneath and then the shelving above but i didn't like i didn't want the counters to look the same in the living room like they did in the kitchen like like they had kitchen drawers on them i felt like that didn't make sense so i actually turned the counters around and pushed them against the wall and once i pushed one against the wall the other one clipped to it once i turned it around so that's what i did and then i just used the base game um i just used the base game white uh, what are those called shelves 
why am I blanking on English words today? Anyway, here's the backyard. I put the grill and a little seating area, a little outside dining table, which now that I think about it, the outside dining table does not have enough seats to fit the entire family. I didn't even think about that. I should have put a six, a six person table. Um, pool, obviously, this is just me finishing out the landscaping. I give the kids a swing, a monkey bars, and then I put that kiddie pool just to be like left over from when the boys were toddlers. But anyway, guys, the screenshot should be rolling any second now. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will always respond to your comments and please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it, and I will see you all then. Bye, guys.